Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. Wanted to go ahead and break open the Bible and pull something out so we can live today a little better and hopefully each day after that. I'm going to be looking at the book of Proverbs. Uh, I just want to take and get some of the wisdom that God put in there for us. So, so sorry, Proverbs chapter uh, 30, verse 20. Just one verse. All right, here we go. An adulterous woman consumes a man then wipes her mouth and says, what's wrong with that? Okay, guys, so I'm going to try and draw this out further than the obvious immediate application of a woman committing adultery. Obviously, no arguments there. I mean, we, we see somebody who's committed adultery, and we understand that that's wrong. No arguments. Um, except, for, of course, from the person who's done it. And that's where I want to pull things out, because this is us. When you stop and you pull this out into a broader application, and you start looking at everything we do that's sin, the problem is that everything, and I mean everything that we do that is sin, comes back down to this. It, it, it's a sin against God, and it's us saying, God, you said this is wrong. I'm going to do it anyway. So we are being inherently unfaithful to God in that simple act. Whatever it is, whether it's as simple and small as a little white lie or whether it's as big as adultery. So guys, this is what I'm talking about. This is where we bring things out and we understand ourselves. No matter what situation we're in, no matter how good a person we tend to want to think we are, we're just not. We're not that good of a person I wish it were different, but it's not. So guys, what we need to understand is that we are being adulterous in those situations. We are being unfaithful to God. And this is our normal reaction, is that once we've been caught in it, it's pretty normal for us to step back and say, look, it's not a big deal. I didn't really do anything wrong. You know, I told that little white lie so that, you know, so-and-so wouldn't get their feelings hurt. But every single thing we've done, we've, we've wounded, at the very least, we've wounded God. We've been unfaithful to Him. And that's a problem. And we don't need to take it for granted that He is just going to forgive us. He is. So don't get me wrong. If we've given Him our lives, if we've taken Him as our Lord and our Savior, then yes, He will forgive us. But, but guys... What kind of abusive relationship is it for us to constantly presume upon the grace of God? It's wrong. God deserves better than that for us to say, oh, well, he'll just forgive me. He deserves better than us to stand there when we look at something in the Bible that says what we did was wrong or we hear it in a message or we hear it from another person in a conversation, maybe God does something big, and just like David, um, when he committed adultery with Bathsheba, God called David back to himself into a right relationship with God by sending a prophet named Nathan. Maybe God will send a prophet into your life or my life, and he will call us out, and it will be a absolutely unfun experience but the point is, is that God will call us back and we need to be able to step back from it and say look I did wrong we don't need to be the person who just like in Proverbs 30 verse 20 says what's wrong with that trying to justify it make sure make minimize it or even just say it's not a real problem it's not a sin we need to not try to justify things we need not try to justify ourselves because when we try to justify ourselves, we are doing exactly that. We are taking away the job from Jesus Christ in his justification on our behalf. It is God who justifies, not me or you. And he doesn't justify our sins. He justifies us. He forgives us of our sins and so that we are therefore stand clean before him. So it's that simple. I just want to say, again, when we get caught in sin, let's not, let's not justify it. 
Let's own it. Let's ask for God's forgiveness and from whatever person we've wronged. And let's move forward from there. Let's get closer to God and not allow that sin to further separate us from God. That is not what we want. We want to be close to him. Close to the people we love in our lives that we have sinned against. So let's make the right move and not make the problem worse. All right? That's what I had for you guys. And I just want to tell you that I love you. And I will see you next time. Bye.